Welcome everyone to our um, session number 10. Uh, this is the ETD Administrator User Group Meeting, and we're going to hear from our presenters, Austin McLean, um, April Elsie, Julia Smith, and Allison Thompson um, from ProQuest, part of Clarivate. And so without further ado, oh yes, my name is John Hagen, I'll be your moderator. And um, if you would please, we can maybe handle this rather informally, um, but uh, just to keep order, if you want to raise your hand, participate, and then um, Austin and you guys, it's up to you if you want to have people um, unmute their video and audio. I always think that's nice to engage folks. Um, and then certainly feel free to use the chat to pose questions and I'll try to help uh, monitor that along with you folks and we'll have a successful discussion. So without further ado, let me turn it over to our friends at ProQuest. Thank you, John. And I'm so glad that you said that about um, having folks unmute their video and their mics when we have discussion, because I was going to ask and I didn't want to be a rule breaker. So I'm glad that I've been given the, the blessing to go ahead with that. So I am sharing. Can someone confirm that you are seeing my screen? We can see it. Awesome. And I'm trying to figure out my Zoom view here, um, but I cannot see you all. I think we're a small enough group. Um, where if you do have a question on something that I'm talking about, you know, a, a feature release or something as it pertains to a slide, please just go ahead and ask. I won't necessarily see you, um, or but I think Austin and Julia might be watching the chat as well. So utilize that. And then um, here, I'll, I'll talk about what we're going to get into today. Um, firstly, we're going to do some brief introductions. Um, I'm joined by a couple of my colleagues here from Clarivate. Um, so just to introduce ourselves. And then we're going to jump into what's new in ETD Administrator. We have a couple exciting enhancements that we've just released, including one that's hot off the press from today. So really happy to share those with you. Um, and then what I think is the really fun part, so the, the roadmap review. So we're going to see what's coming down the pike. Um, and in that slide and afterward, I really would like to encourage discussion. Um, and so at that point, uh, I, I will kind of make it clear that I want to spend the, the majority of this time hearing from you, um, listening to your feedback. That is just so, so valuable to inform um, our efforts and really enhance your experience. Um, so I, I will invite feedback at that time. But of course, if you have a question on anything specific, please do feel free to jump in and ask. So we'll hop right into intros. Uh, my name is Allison Thompson. I know many of you on this call. It's nice to see you. I am a product manager at ProQuest, part of Clarivate, and I am on the graduate solutions side. So my products include ETD Administrator, of course, and the dissertations dashboard. And Austin, I saw you're unmuted, so I will nominate you to introduce yourself. Okay, great. Thank you, Allison. Yeah, I'm Austin McLean. I know many of you, it's great to see you again and have you participate in this session. Um, I work on the side of the ProQuest dissertations business where we work with universities to make sure your participation in the program uh, is going smoothly and easily. And I work to uh, invite new universities that have not participated yet into the program. So I'll turn it over to my colleague, Julia. Hi, everyone. Um, good to uh, see some of you whom I met last year in person here. Um, I am your contact for joining the ProQuest dissemination program if your institution has not and there are um, several of you that I emailed yesterday to invite you to um, have a conversation about that. Uh, we don't do any hard selling. There is no money involved in this dissemination program. So please feel free to reach out to me um, if you got an email. Uh, we'd love to talk with you about that. Okay, and lastly, Lane Bowman. Hi everybody, my name is Lane Bowman. I'm the user experience designer for the Graduate Solutions. So. Uh, we've been spending a lot of time on ETD Administrator, getting lots of great feedback from you. Um, so I'm certainly somebody, if you have any ideas or um, see some ways that we can improve the product, I'd love to hear those, love to hear from you. So um, also, I, I was going to mention that I spent um, about a decade in higher education. Um, and uh, now, obviously, I'm with Clarivate, but certainly have sympathies for all the work that you're doing and really appreciate it. Thank you, Lane. Awesome. And so like Lane said, I'll speak for all of my colleagues here. 
um, this deck is going to be made available and our contact information is here intentionally. So if you desire further conversation, if you have questions about joining the program um, or ideas on product improvement, we would absolutely love to hear from you. It's kind of the best part of what we do is, is talking to our users. So, um, so just a little background before I jump right into what's new in ETD Administrator. I think the majority of folks on this call are familiar with the product, but since Julia mentioned there may be some that are not participating in the program, um, ETD Administrator is our free workflow tool. That is one of the products I manage, and it's utilized by institutional partners like yourselves um, to allow students to contribute their theses and dissertations, ultimately for publication on the ProQuest platform. But it is a uh, a workflow tool, it's a place you can iterate with your students back and forth and revise ETDs, um, request changes from them, and really kind of streamline that workflow process from um, initial submission by the student to ready for publication onto the PQDT platform. And so just to jump right in, like Lane mentioned, we've been doing a lot of work and a lot of enhancements in ETD Administrator. And I wanted to start with this one, the author order experience. And I want to flag this one particularly because um, this is one as an administrator that you may not have seen um, because these are primarily housed on student pages. So we did include this change in our ETD admin newsletter. We have an in-application communication alerting you. But if you missed those pieces of outreach, you may not have seen this yet. And we had a couple goals when we um, rolled out this, this improvement. Um, we really wanted to make it more clear for authors ordering copies of their books um, where they stood in the process. We wanted to eliminate confusion, help pare down some of the questions that our customer service team got, that you got, and really improve the, the submission and if they purchase the copy order experience as well. And so Lane and our team did a really nice job um, making some improvements first to this copy order page. So you can see if a student is considering ordering copies, this is what we've found um, in our research, something that students, authors really, really value. Um, typically we see a, a rate of almost a one-to-one. -one. So nearly every author that is submitting um, is also purchasing. So we know that they find this really valuable. They like to have copies of their work. They like to give them as gifts. We see spikes during the holiday seasons. Um, so it's something that, that our users find a lot of value in. Um, but we did often get questions about what exactly product were they getting. Um, so Lane's done a really nice job here of setting up this information, including pictures of both the hardcover and the soft cover options, calling out some of the features and the differences between the two, and, and making that um, sizing information really palatable to really just give a clear picture to authors of what exactly they are purchasing and what the different options are. Um, you can also see we did some work on the interface for the confirmation page. When students have submitted their ETD, we've included a little process map here to help them understand where they are in uh, both the submission process and order fulfillment. So I will go into that um, in a bit more detail on the next slide, but just so you can see it, it does appear here in the user interface. And this appears for both students that have ordered copies and for students that don't. Um, the, the graphic changes to display accurately what their process is. Of course, students that um, did not order don't have that order fulfillment piece, uh, but it, it does, appear for both. So they have a good understanding of where they are in the submission process. And here's just a little bit of a bigger view. And I think the team has done a really nice job of making this really clear for, for students, authors that are busy, that may not be reading every single word that's emailed to them. I think this just at a quick glance provides an easy visual um, for students to really understand where they are in the submission process what needs to happen prior to order fulfillment, publication, you know, the things that they really care about that they're probably asking you about, and also who owns the piece of the process that, um, that they're in right now. So we wanted to make it really clear and help eliminate confusion for students. Um, you know, if, if they're sitting here at that publish to ProQuest, you can see ProQuest is the contact for that step. They can direct their questions to our 